Hey kids, how you doing? We're going to talk about uh, the Declaration of Independence and Constitution. Actually, what I think would be a good uh, a good way to start with that is let's let's talk about a few words that people say a lot, but they they don't maybe sometimes they don't maybe they don't think about them very much. Let's talk about uh, the word liberty. That's a word you hear in school um, quite a bit, right? We hear this word liberty. Um, hmm, let's see, what's the best way to do this? I think maybe the best way to do this is like this. Um, liberty. And um, what's another word that we hear a lot? Um, free, right? Um, because we live in the United States of America, or actually we live in America, um, we say all the time, um, it's a free country and that we're free people. But do we ever, has anybody ever like looked at what the definition of these words are? Do, it's not something that people look at at school very much and not even something that people talk about very much, but let's, let's, um, Let's, let's start with this one here. Okay, liberty. That's the state of being free um, from restriction um, within a society. In other words, it means uh, that you're a self-governing person. Um, and what self-governing means is that you govern yourself. Someone else doesn't govern you. Now, that's different than the United States, but let's talk about the word free. Now, free um, has, uh, you know, two definitions. Uh, one is without cost or payment, and the other one is um, not controlled uh, or not, maybe not under. The control of another. In other words, um, now that doesn't mean that you know uh, what that says is um, that someone is not you know you're not under someone's forceful control. In other words, you're you're not um, you're not being forced to do anything. Now we do have something in the United States, or that has kind of it's kind of taken over America, and that's called. Um, the force, uh, the police force, so, and they do force laws on people, uh, but, well, uh, okay, and then you have to pay, you know, we have to pay for, you know, driver's license and um, building permits and all that kind of stuff, so, well, we're not free without cost or payment, and then we're not free without being controlled because there's all kinds of laws and everything um, that we're forced to obey. So we're not free that way. Actually, it's not a free country, and we're not free people. Um, but we do have the government, right? And the government says all the time that we're free. Governmental um, organizations, right? Um, they say that we're free, and they say we're free people, and that other countries hate us for our freedoms. Freedom. Mm -hmm. uh, so governmental, well, let's think about that word, right? Governmental, what well, is govern? Now, if we're free people, free is not being controlled, but the word govern itself um, means to control. And mental uh, means thought. Hmm. And that organization, well, an or we know what an organ is, right? It's an instrument. So this is an instrument of thought. Governmental organization is an instrument of thought control. They control thoughts. 
and they're very organized the way they do it. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's a thought control organization, isn't it? Hmm. There's something to think about. Uh, hey kids, welcome to the USA.